Hello everybody, welcome back to this video. You are watching the wrap up and round up and show and tell of my October mini workwear capsule wardrobe. I swear I say that differently every single time because there's way too many words in that sentence. Regardless, in the month of September is where I started playing around with this idea of having a couple of core pieces I pull and put in one corner of my closet and that is my go-to work mini capsule. And from Monday to Friday, I just pull clothes from that section and well, wear them to work. I will talk you through the individual pieces I selected and then I think instead of doing a voiceover as I show you some of the outfits, I'm just going to put it to music and you let me know you guys, you let me know if you prefer me to talk over the outfits or just you're okay just seeing them, you know, put to music and showing you what paired with what, how did everything come out and I'll come back at the very end to wrap up the video, tell you about my overall thoughts for the month, what went well, what didn't went go well and um, kind of looking into November which by the way is when I'm actually filming this video, um, any changes and, and just you know styling choices I, I would have made. Um, I never limit myself to the number of pieces I end up picking, but somehow I ended up with six core pieces again for the month of October. So let's talk about them. I've got them on my notebook. First one here is my J. Crew wool crop trousers in navy. These are unlined, but they are 100% wool. You will notice as we go on into the colder and colder months, the fit of my garments become worse and worse because I tend to find it that it's very hard to look for winter wear garments for you know petite sizing of only five foot two rounded up and I'm sure those of you who are on the other end the taller end of the spectrum have the same struggles um, during the warmer months I can kind of make it fit you're wearing like skirts and stuff like that and crop pants it doesn't really matter but for winter when you really want to be warm and covered fit is really important and not all of these things are fit wonderfully but hey, you know, you take what you can get. Again, J. Crew wool crop trousers. The hips are a smidge tight. You can see some pulling, but the waist is actually a little bit big. I wish these pants had belt loops so I can hike it up with some belts, but it doesn't. I just kind of, you know, when people are not watching, I hike it up a little once in a while. It's not awful. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fall off me or anything, but I just wish they fit slightly better. I do love the look of them. I think they look really cool. Um, I pair these, you know, with sneakers sometimes, like a white sneaker, really simple and clean. It has that real city chic vibe. Let's go with my Gap um, mid-rise black skinny jeans. I actually really dislike these jeans, but they are the best I have, and they go with my rain boots. Not not like not like rain boots, rain boots, but boots that look normal but are made for the rain and they're waterproof. I would do a whole video about that if you want to. Just drop me a comment down below if you want a waterproof footwear, but that's not what this video is about. These pair of jeans are what I would wear if it's just like pouring rain out and I need to wear my waterproof boots because um, they are a real skinny leg and they just look better with the boots. But I don't love these jeans. I'm just gonna say out, you know, outright, they aren't the most comfortable. I wish they were more high rise. Um, the material is stretchy, but it's, the fit isn't awesome. And now they're starting to wear around the knees. I'm just not a huge fan, but they're the best of what I've got. Um, and I have not been able to find a decent replacement for a pair of black denim that I can wear in the winter time that's long enough, full coverage, but isn't too long. Let me know if you have a great recommendation. Next, I brought out my Old Navy high-waisted super skinny pants and these are my pair of light color pants for this rotation. They're animal print. I think they're so much fun, a little bit just more interesting because as we go on into the colder months, you'll also notice that all of my clothes just become dark because that's how you feel on the inside in the middle of the winter. Um, tops. Let's talk Uniqlo puff sleeve top. This is actually quite a casual top. I initially bought it to wear around the house. This is an extra small, but it still looks quite oversized. I tried pairing it with some of my dressier-ish bottoms, and I think it went okay. It definitely has very much of a Japanese Uniqlo look. I mean, it is from Uniqlo, but just the, the whole silhouette of it really pulls in that direction. Um, not a bad thing at all. 
It's got shearing around the sleeves, which make the sleeves a bit more voluminous. So you can't really fit it into another outer layer or another cardigan unless your cardigan has even bigger sleeves than this top. But it was fine. I just wore it on days where it was slightly warmer. Then I also pulled out the Uniqlo Boxy Wool Blend Turtleneck in a charcoal color. This one I bought last year. So this is its second year and I think I might be able to squeeze one more year out of this sweater. It is part of their souffle yarn collection. And while it is soft and cozy, it's not the most durable material and it bobbles really badly because of the fiber content. Um, and just, I don't know, I wear it all the time because it works, but I'm not in love with the quality of this particular um, sweater. By the way, it also creates a ton of static. Um, lastly, my last core piece is from Joe Fresh. It is a ribbed cardigan that is in this deep rose color. Um, I always like to pull out a mid-layer topper, especially as we started getting into the colder season. And this one is really nice. I bought it fairly recently. It's a blend of cotton and nylon. Um, which is better than cotton and acrylic because acrylic is what makes all of your sweat sweaters bobble. It is a thinner ribbed sweater. It's got no front closure. I don't think so. Maybe there's one button. No, there's a few buttons in the front, but I never button it up. So I just kind of leave it open like that and it works fine. It's a really nice sweater. I almost wish it had pockets, but then maybe that would have made it more bulky and less streamlined. Regardless, those are all of the pieces. I did not include the two um, base layer inner pieces because most of the time you would never see them. I think there's only one outfit where you see a bit of my tank top, but I'm going to leave that out of the equation. So I'm going to kick you over to the um, compilation of some of the outfit pairings. These are not exhaustive. I decided not to do the math and try to make the endless combination of outfits, but for the most part, these are the combinations I wore most often. And as long as I can get at least five different outfits out of my collection, then the next week I just rotate the same five outfits again and nobody remembers because the weekend happened. I'll come back in a moment and talk you through an overview and my final thoughts about October's mini capsule workwear wardrobe. Let's check out the outfits. Mm -hmm.
Alright, I hope you enjoyed that little outfit compilation. Let me know which ones were your favorite and kind of what styles surprised you. Um, hopefully, I would have remembered to put down on there which ones were my favorite. Um, let me know if you agreed. Couple of thoughts just overall for October. The weather changed so quickly from decent and slightly cloudy to just absolutely pouring rain. There were one or two days I just had to break out of my mini capsule for like functionality sake because everything was just so wet um, and some of those just clothes weren't awesome for the rain. Um, cardigans. This is an interesting thought. If I'm wearing the same cardigan and I just have one and if that gives me a lot of coverage like three quarters of my body should I have more cardigans and count the cardigans as outers? Because I can switch up my insides, but if the cardigan is going to cover most of it, then it really just looks like the same outfit. I don't know. Do I need more cardigans? Maybe I do. Um, the Uniqlo Souffle Yarn um, Charcoal Turtleneck. I really actually like the silhouette and everything, but it's just not holding up. I'm scared we are getting close to getting a hole in that sweater. Annoyed. Um, the Gap jeans, also every time I put them on, they're okay, but I don't love them. I keep having to shuffle around in them, pull them this way and that. And I'm noticing the back of the knees where your knees, you know, crease. That crease area is definitely getting worn um, and the material is like starting to get a hole through them. Which makes me feel two things. I'm glad that it's nearing the end of his days because I don't love that pair of jeans. But on the other hand, I am mortified because I don't have a good replacement pair of black denim. I keep looking for them. I don't know if they exist for people who are short, who have a um, smaller waist and larger hips by comparison. If you know something good that I can buy in Canada, leave it down below. I'm desperate for a pair of dark colored preferably black denim that I can wear in the winter season. So that is my October mini workwear capsule wardrobe. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you like this video, please support by giving it a thumbs up, share it with everybody, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm almost always over on social media, so hit me up over there if you ever want to chat. I will see you very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.